Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at simplifying radical expressions that involve mixed operations. So we have write the following expression in simplest radical form and we're looking at radical 108 plus radical 48 divided by radical 75. Now at first glance an example like this will like make a student snap back but the key is is to break it down systematically. The fact that we have radical 108 plus radical 408 tells us that we're going to be using addition of radicals. But remember, don't fall for the trap. Most students will do 108 plus 48 is 156, and then they'll start breaking down radical 156. But remember, we can't add the numbers under the radical. We need to make sure that we generate matching numbers under the radical first. So the key is, is we're going to consult the perfect squares. We have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, and the list goes on. But for most examples, you won't look at anything bigger than 36. But in the event that you do, you'll have other methods of breaking it down. But generally, these are the only perfect squares that we're going to be playing with for these examples. So we're looking at radical 108. And we could break it down with 9, but if we look further down the list, we'll see that 108 could be broken down as... 36 times 3. So you could use a calculator to check which numbers divide into the numbers under the radical. So for the next line, we'll call this line 1 just to keep it organized. For line 2, instead of radical 108, we could call it radical 36 times radical 3. And you could even check 36 times 3 would bring you right back to radical 108. But now for 48, we could break down 48. It's tempting to use 4 and 12. But if we look further down the list, we'll see that 48 could be broken down as 16 times 3. So remember, the goal for these problems is to find the biggest perfect square factor because it allows you to simplify in fewer steps. So you can even check 16 times 3 will bring you back to 48. And finally, even though this number is bigger than 48, it's easier to recognize because we use quarters every day. 75 could be broken down into 25 times 3. So we have 75, we're writing as 25, or oh, I'm sorry, radical 25 times radical 3. And you'll notice right away that each of these terms have a radical 3 now, so something should go off saying that you're going in the right direction. So now for the third stage of this problem, we'll simplify. The square root of 36 is 6. So we have 6 radical 3 plus the square root of 16 is 4, so we have 4 radical 3 and we're dividing by the square root of 25 is 5 so we have 5 radical 3's now this is where addition of radicals comes in the fact that we have matching numbers under the radical tells us we could add these two radical expressions all we're doing for the next line we're doing 6 plus 4 is 10 so we have 10 a radical 3 divided by 5 radical 3. In a previous video I go into more detail about why we do this but think of this as 6x plus 4x would be 10x. We're not going to add the 3's under the radical. We have to keep them the same. Let's make this a little bit neater. So we have 10 radical 3 over 5 radical 3. But now at this stage we could go ahead and finish this problem. Notice the common factors in the numerator and denominator, we could, in some sense, just cancel these out. Radical 3 divided by radical 3 is 1, so we could just cancel these out. And now 10 divided by 5 is simply 2. So this tells us that our final answer to this problem is 2. Okay, so notice when there's common factors, they cancel out, and now we're looking here, 10 divided by 5 is 2, so the final answer Radical 108 plus radical 48 divided by radical 75 is simply 2. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on simplifying radical expressions. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.